Welcome to the Funeral Nation Web Show, the best effing web show. Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 26. I'm your host, Ryan Thogmartin, co-host Jeff the Funeral Commander Harbinson. This show is powered by Disrupt Media, and really, Funeral Nation is the leading web show in the funeral profession. Our international audience has exploded, along with everybody here in the United States, because people are really wanting, Jeff, that the, the commentary on our profession, the leading news, the interesting perspectives that we bring, and uh, the humorous... WTF look that we take uh, on our profession every week to kind of lighten the mood. So what do we have this week as we continue on our effing hustle, effing brand, and effing change theme? You know what? I'm really excited today because we're making an industry announcement, uh, which is big of a strategic alliance among the power players in the funding area. Uh, Spotlight of funeral directors coming to us from Indiana. And a WTF is another example of uh, online casket sales and social media. Joe, I just want to point out real quick, we talked about this, this announcement that's going to be happening on the show today. This announcement's coming to us. They want to be use Funeral Nation as the catapult to get this out to the industry. So uh, big things happen here on the effing show. Mm-hmm. Jeff, this week, Buzz... Um, there, there was an article that was out, got a lot of social play through Connecting Directors' Facebook page on the digital graveyard that organically is becoming Facebook. Um, as mm-hmm. users pass away, those profiles are being turned into memorial pages. Once the family notifies Facebook of the death of a loved one, they can verify the death. Facebook will then take that profile page of that deceased user and turn it into a memorial page, or what they consider a memorial page and call a memorial page. It's not necessarily a traditional memorial page in the sense, but you know, Facebook is starting to amass a lot of these memorial pages, and they haven't monetized it yet, and they really haven't built it out any special functionality for those pages. Um, but if they did, and that's where the conversation is gone, that's kind is of scary. if they did, they would really slaughter any other memorial site that is out there because of just the sheer numbers that they have. Um, so it's, it's an interesting conversation. But in researching that a little bit, we found some statistics of projections for the year 2065. Now, it may sound... Forever down the road, but in the year... Nah, I'll only be 104, so that's not that <laughs> long from now. <laughs> we'll be on episode 3,000-something of the Funeral Nation show by then in your wheelchair. I bet cigars and, and rum are not part of those episodes. <laughs> but in 2065, it's projected that there will be... The number of dead user profiles will surpass the number of living profiles that are on Facebook. So, I mean, that's a pretty staggering number... And look, Facebook isn't dumb. They figured out how to monetize our attention. And if people are giving attention and the largest percentage of their audience is deceased, believe me, they'll figure out a way to make a buck off of it. So uh, I think it's something that we should definitely be paying attention to, but a very interesting conversation nonetheless. Right. And it's just foretelling the same thing that we keep talking about here about F and brand and F and change. Look, uh, funeral homes, if you're not on Facebook, you need to get there. That's right. If you don't have a professional, hire one, okay? And bottom line is the interweb is here to stay. That's okay? right. It's not going it, anywhere, right? It ain't going away. It ain't like cremation where you can wish it away. <laughs> oh, yeah, that worked out really well. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's time. And for those who don't, keep doing it. For those who will, you're in the right spot That's right, right now. That's right. You're in a great spot. Well, you know what? This new segment was uh, brought to us by our new sponsor, Simple Funeral Payment Plan, which is powered by CareCap. Um, These guys are fantastic. It's an excellent online platform to do collections of uh, accounts receivable and also for at need. Speaking of which, you can find them on atneedcredit.com. Ryan, go ahead and roll that promo. The funeral isn't over if you haven't been paid. Contact us at simplefuneralpaymentplan.com to find out how to become a $0 accounts receivable funeral home. Jeff, who are our esteemed guests today? 
making this huge announcement? This is a big deal. Many people in the industry know uh, Jamie Meredith, the executive vice president of CNJ Financial, and Michelle Richardson, the director of strategic alliances at CareCat. So let's go ahead and roll that tape. Jamie and Michelle, welcome to the Funeral Nation TV show. I always offer ladies first. So, Michelle, you're a returning guest on the FN show. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and CareCap, uh, even though you're a new guest. And, Jamie, if you don't mind, follow up with Michelle about yourself and C&J. Hey, thanks, guys, for bringing me back. Appreciate being here. And, uh, you know, aside from being part of the CareCap team for three years, uh, my husband and I uh, own a dental practice. And I know that seems like an odd connection, but... As small business owners for 30 years, I think we share some of the same issues and stresses and even successes experienced by uh, funeral homeowners. You know, I found CareCap when I went looking for better payment solutions for our patients. And simply put, what the CareCap software does is streamline and automate payment arrangements, communications, billing, and collection, and it allows businesses to provide uh, flexible payment options to the customers. Hmm. Jamie? Well, Jeff, I, uh, like many young men, uh, when I graduated high school, had no idea what I wanted to do for a living. I had a couple of brothers that were in the military. However, due to a medical issue, I couldn't go in the armed services. Our family didn't have the funds to uh, send me to college, so uh, I went to work in a factory, manufacturing wood putty. And uh, as you can imagine, not a very exciting job. And uh, my oldest brother, Chris, uh, when I was 19 years old, convinced me that I could make a fortune selling life insurance and prepaid funeral plans. Uh, so I left my factory job, uh, shipped in, exposed me, uh, and uh, immediately found my passion, uh, helping families uh, take care of the inevitable. Uh, over the next nine years, I had the opportunity and fortunate luck to work for several different companies in the insurance business uh, in multiple capacities. And in 2005, Security National Life recruited me uh, to come in and head up their fast funding division. It was a newly started program where they were helping funeral homes uh, factor uh, insurance assignments, eliminating the cash flow issues that funeral homes have in processing insurance payments. Um, so I started to work with Security National in uh, August the 22nd, 2005. That may sound familiar because a week later, Hurricane Katrina hit the Mississippi and Louisiana <laughs> Gulf Coast wow. and completely changed everything in the South. Um, so this is now our 11th year. Uh, fast funding insurance assignments, and we operate three main brands, uh, C&J Financial based out of Rainbow City, Alabama, American Funeral Financial in Greenville, South Carolina, and Funeral Funding Center down in Hollywood, Florida. Our group last year, Jeff, uh, processed more than 40,000 life insurance assignments, uh, which represented more than 37,000 funerals, uh, and we funded a little over a quarter of a billion dollars to uh, about 2,600 funeral homes nationwide. Wow. Uh, wow. Our mission is to uh, alleviate the, the funeral industry of the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Mm. Well, that's excellent. Well, Jamie, the Security National Fast Funding Group is the largest insurance assignment organization in the U.S. funeral industry. And today, you, Michelle, and my co host over there, the funeral commander, are making a big announcement. So, uh, drum roll, everyone. <laughs> Joy to and a big, big announcement it is. It's uh, such a big announcement. funeral commander. Oh, man. Look at you. Hey. Yeah, absolutely. Come with props and everything, right? Dude, Love you are it. so my man. I'm getting kicked out of the business now. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, C and J, our primary brand uh, that we've owned and operated since 2007, has uh, built its business very quietly and methodically through strategic partnerships. And uh, we currently have affiliations with ASD, Federated Funeral Directors of America, Selected Independent Funeral Homes, OGR, and several others. Today, we're excited to announce a partnership with At Need Credit and care cap where we can extend some additional payment options to our funeral homes uh, that uh, provide some additional solutions for those families uh, that don't have enough life insurance uh, or funds to take care of funeral expenses. So we're extremely uh, excited about the, uh, the big announcement and the big rollout of the new uh, strategic alliance with that need credit 
and care cats. That's uh, that's really big deal. And in fact, since the beginning of this year, Ryan and I have been talking about strategic alliances, and this is certainly the biggest one year to date, right? So. Um, this group's going to offer total solutions for funeral directors with family who don't pay with pre-need funds or in full at time of arrangement. So, Jamie, will you share with us um, how Security Na National Fast Funding Group is going to work with this process? I think we have an example from a website. Yeah, great question, Jeff. Uh, the key for our group and our funeral home clients is simplicity and ease of use. So if a firm wants to take advantage of one of the additional payment options that we're now offering uh, through Etni Credit, uh, they can simply go to our website, AmericanFuneralFinancial.com, CJF.com, or FuneralFundingCenter.com, click the At Need button at the top of the page, uh, and then select either the Simple Funeral Payment Plan, powered by CareCap, or the Funeral Pay Plan Direct to Consumer Loan. Uh, and apply directly there online with one click of the mouse. It's wow. really that easy and that simple. Wow. wow, that's that's exciting stuff right there. It sure is, and it's a much-needed service. So, Michelle, earlier this year, you were a guest here with, with CareCap, and you were the first uh, to announce a strategic alliance with um, At Need Credit. So how has that been working for, for you and your company? Hey, our alliance with At Need Credit has been stellar. You know, um, At Need Credit offers deep funeral industry expertise, and you, you, when you couple that knowledge base with CareCap's technology to provide specific solutions to specific problems within the industry, it goes well. You know, At Need Credit is highly experienced, professional, well-connected, and we're excited to expand that relationship to Jamie and the Fast Funding Group. Well, and bless her heart, she puts up with me on a regular basis. So uh, <laughs> welcome to the club. Um, and nobody better to work with because Michelle's just top shelf. Um, as a team, that you see here, this is at need credit. This is all one organization strategically aligned to bring um, solutions to the industry. And we're committed to not only solutions, but training funeral directors and staff to tighten up their cash flow and at need services. Michelle and Jamie, we share a little bit about your service staff that uh, talk to funeral directors on a regular basis. Oh, yeah, happy to. Our support personnel here at CareCap are exceptional. Uh, when a funeral home signs up to use the Simple Funeral Payment Plan through Atney Credit or Security National Fast Funding Group, they get a call uh, within a day from one of the CareCap technology professionals um, who will offer a training session on how to set up payment plans. Uh, and then that person will be their ongoing point of contact. Uh, with our focus on the funeral industry, we have staff specifically assigned to work with funeral home professionals so in order to best serve our users. These folks understand uh, the industry lingo and the challenges specific to the professionals in the industry. Wow. Fantastic. Well, well Jamie, American Funeral Funding is going to be at the ICCFA in a few weeks in New Orleans. Uh, tell us what uh, booth number and a little bit about what you're going to be doing and have going on there. Absolutely. Uh, American Funeral Financial is a corporate sponsor this year for the ICCFA, so we'll definitely be down there. Um, and, you know, be doing what you do in New Orleans, right? Uh, we'll be uh, making sure going to bed early, uh, not eating too much, right. certainly won't be drinking or doing any smoking or any of those kind of things. Uh, but we'll be at booth 400 for those of you that, uh, you know, really want some excitement. Um, and uh, we'll be down there doing our thing, visiting with our uh, existing clients, meeting some new ones that are not currently using our services, and sharing uh, the big effing news about the uh, big strategic alliance that uh, we wow. have with that big credit. <laughs> yeah, speaking of big effing news, right, as we shared, Ryan and I are going to be in New Orleans with Funeral Nation, and uh, I'm going to be in the booth over there with Jamie until he kicks me out. Uh. <clears throat> We're, uh, we're going to run a promo, too, with all of our sponsors and people. So we're going to have the logo of uh, Funeral Nation inside that booth for AFF. And what we're going to get our folks attending to do is come in, take a selfie with personnel and, and folks in the booth, and post it on websites, and uh, not websites, but on our um, Funeral Nation uh, Facebook page and also company Facebook page. And you're going to get some effing swag. So, I mean, how much better does it get than that? So, Jamie, it, it does, does, I, I know. I mean, just think about having this with Chuck getting his picture made. <laughs> I mean, Chuck in himself is a, is a brand. 
<laughs> Absolutely, no question. Chuck Gallagher, our VP of Sales, will definitely be there in the booth with us, and uh, so we are uh, certainly looking forward to it. Well, good. Well, it's uh, guys, this is exciting news just for me personally as a group, and I think for our industry because this is one subject with cash flow solutions mm -hmm. that are now really coming to the forefront. And this is the only team that's out here that's able to perform and actually understands the funeral industry. So uh, we're excited and uh, grateful. Michelle, thank you for coming back to the show again and gracing us and making this uh, kind of look Brady Bunch little square look better. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. Right. And Jamie, uh, thank you. And we're really excited to uh, pair up with you and see you down there in New Orleans as well. well Absolutely. We'll catch you guys later. Hey, you know what? Hang on. Bring that with you. You got to have that. All right. I'll bring the big effing cigar. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. I love it. All right, brother. Well, thank you both. And uh, y'all take care. This outstanding interview segment was brought to us by our sponsor, Memory Care by AP Laser. Hey, make sure and visit AP Laser team at booth 829 at ICCFA. And get your effing pick made with a selfie and somebody in the book booth with our picture there. Um, and get you some effing swag. Way to go. Go ahead and roll that uh, promo there for AP Laser Ride. This week's effing interview segment is brought to you by Memory Care, powered by AP Laser. Memory Care is a life story etched forever. To find out more, visit APLaser.com. Oh, excellent. Thank you, AP Laser, for what you're doing in the profession and sponsoring the effing show. We'll see you at ICCFA. Jeff, tell us about our uh, spotlight on our funeral director and who's that's gonna, who that is going to be on today. As you know, we like to share positive stories and shine a spotlight on funeral directors making a difference in their communities and also our profession. It's my distinct pleasure to shine a spotlight on Wallace P. Wally Hooker, owner, funeral director, and bomber of Family and Friends Funeral Home in Wingate, Indiana. Wally and his wife established, designed, and built their funeral home in 2004. Wally attended Purdue University as a proud graduate of Warsham College of Mortuary Science. He currently serves as president of the Indiana Funeral Directors Association. In addition, he served Fountain County, Indiana for the past 21 years as deputy coroner, the past 16 years as chief deputy investigator. He's also serves on the board of the Indiana State Coroners Association. That's one busy cat. Yeah. Wally does a significant amount of trade and bombing in this facility with his own growing funeral home business. He's also routinely called on by other funeral directors to assist with their problem cases, restorative work for the funeral home and the family members. He's developed passion, serious passion, and reputation for quality, no nonsense embalming, facial reconstruction, and frankly is known as a flag bearer of proper embalming techniques and promoting the importance of this craft and present. Um, for this possession. I tell you what, um, Wally is also known for calling folks out and he's doing his best to reduce the disease of knucklehead some or knucklehead, <laughs> right? He'll let you know you're a knucklehead in a heartbeat. But anyway, Wally, our hat's off to you. Thank you for what you're doing for our profession out there. And uh, we appreciate it. We'll probably see you down in New Orleans as well. This episode of Funeral Nation was brought to you by Foreverance.com. The most important stories are the stories of our lives. Foreverence helps individuals and families tell their amazing stories through unique memorial urns and personal tributes. And them, Foreverence.com. The spotlight today on the funeral director is brought to you by our sponsor, Foreverence, the unique 3D memorial tribute artist. Uh, they'll be at ICCFA, also booth 358, 358. So make sure and go by and get your F and selfie made with Pete, right? Pete's a handsome guy, so you want to do that with our <laughs> logo and get a chance of some F and swag because that's some good stuff there. That's right. F and swag is going to be good stuff. They're going to like it, Jeff. I think people underestimate the value of our swag. So make sure you're paying attention to the promos leading up to the convention on how you can get that swag. So uh, Jeff, that was a great spotlight segment. Uh, every week our spotlight segment gets better and better. And next week, um, really excited about the spotlight segment because uh, it was actually submitted to us by the spouse of a funeral director. So um, very heartfelt. But uh, it's time to liven things up a little bit and get into our WTF segment where we take a humorous look at our profession um, and our WTF segment, What the Funeral 
something you're going to be talking about Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's brought to us by our sponsor, Save My Ink Forever. You can also check out Doc and his crew at booth 208 at the ICCFA convention, where, again, you can take your effing selfie with him and his team and win some effing swag. So, Jeff, what is, <laughs> this is, um, look, it... Casket he just scale, talked about it. Casket he just talked about online. Facebook. It's, They're selling is, caskets on Facebook. They are. It's real. Look, if, if the consumer wasn't there and didn't think they could sell a casket there, they wouldn't be posting it. So you got to go play in the sandbox where everybody else is playing. And, and look, it's right here. This guy, uh, you know, if we looked up all the swap and sell groups in the state of Maryland, I bet this post appears on every single group on Facebook. Unbelievable. And, you know, um, guys, it, it's time. You know, everybody was upset back in the day when we took phone calls and talked to people. I actually know of a funeral director who got a death call on Facebook through a mm -hmm. uh, private message. So it's time to get on that interweb That's right. That's right. and let's step it up. And, look, don't, don't hire your nephew to run your program. Get a professional, right? What do they say? Um, you find out how cheap a professional is if you don't hire one or something like that. <laughs> That's right. That what's called? <laughs> something like that. Something like anyway, that. I about finished before we got started today, so I'm not real good on the quote, to be quite frank with you. <laughs> uh, well, thank you to Save My Ink for sponsoring the WTF segment. Uh, let's roll that promo. This week's WTF is brought to you by Save My Ink Forever. To learn more about Save My Ink Forever's innovative process, email them at funeral at savemyink.tattoo. Save my ink forever. Tattoos offer a lifetime of memories. Well, Jeff, this wraps up episode 26. What can we look forward to going on to episode 27? Next week, uh, we're going to have a special guest. It'll probably be at ICCFA. Uh, we'll have a new spotlight on the funeral director, as you spoke about, and a fresh WTF. Uh, additionally, we're going to start rolling some promotions on our pages. Uh, throughout everything we have on social media that uh, we're going to give away some swag. And the good part, if you can't be at ICCFA, right. you can still play in the game. We're going to announce how that's going to work. That's right. That's right. So make sure you engage with us. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Go to our website, FuneralNation.tv. Find us on YouTube. Look, you cannot miss the Funeral Nation show if you are – remotely trying to find it. We are absolutely everywhere. So make sure you're engaging with us and you're following leading up to the convention so you can learn how you can get some of our swag and if you can't physically be there, how you can still be involved and engaged. Uh, so again, our FNers, thank you out there for the engagement you're providing us. Keep it coming because your engagement is what drives us. So uh, Jeff, until next time, FNers, have a great FN week. Out here.